Hello and welcome. My name is Robin and you're watching a Robin Reads. Today I want to talk about all the books I've read in the month of January. So I've read a total of 23 books in January, which sounds like a lot, but I will explain later. And I did not finish three books in January, but I won't be talking about them. I will be talking about them like mid-year probably to tell you about them. But um, let's get into the video. So the first books I want to talk about were the uh, 13 children picture books I read. So on one evening I wasn't feeling well but I really wanted to read something and I yeah I'd, I'd wanted to um, find another genre I would like and the genre of uh, children picture books I haven't really read anything from and uh, on NetGalley there were a lot available so I thought yeah why not I uh, will just try it out and see if I like it. Well, I really enjoyed reading all of these books. Um, I'm not going to talk about in depth about them because, yeah, they're children's books. They're like 10 pages long, so yeah. Uh, but my favorite out of those uh, was a book called Help Wanted Must Love Books uh, by Janet Summer Johnson. And this is the book. I gave this book uh, five stars because I it just was very, very good. Um, this book is about a little girl and her daddy is really busy with work so he can't read to her in the evenings anymore. So what she does is she um, makes a sign to ask people to read um, her books. And there are a lot of people who come to her and uh, yeah, try to get the job. And those people are fairy tale characters, for example, uh, Robin Hood or um, Cinderella, etc. And yeah, it was just really, really funny. Uh, what I really, really liked also were the um, uh, yeah application letters uh, from the characters uh, in at the end of the book. Um, they were just really, really funny, and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this book. And yeah, gave it just uh, five stars. Uh, so then the uh, first book I read in January was um, on the 1st of January. I wanted to start off the year uh, on a high note. And um, it was one of my TBR jar picks. And that was this one. Um, yeah, how do you can call it? Uh, it's a Dutch book. <laughs> Uh, it's like uh, sobs and uh, laughs basically and this is a poetry uh, collection by Piet Paaltjens he is a very famous um, poetry uh, person and yeah it's a really short book and I really really enjoyed it I think I read this in class um, when I was in school and yeah this poetry is just pretty good and I gave it uh, four stars so then um, I read an arc I got uh, from NetGalley and that arc was uh, this one Strange Exit by Parker Peavy House. I talked about this one in my TBR for the month. Uh, this is a science fiction YA book. I got it from NetGalley and uh, yeah it's basically about uh, these this girl and she is in a simulation. It's a bit like the Matrix um, but uh, I think pretty different enough that it stands on its own and uh, this girl uh, tries to um, get people out of the simulation. So her mission is to get all the people out of the simulation so they can um, get off the dying ship and uh, maybe go to earth if if earth is still habitable and yeah i i really really love this book um i actually gave it five stars um because not because it it wasn't like the most um 
yeah, best written book or anything, but it was just really enjoyable. It was high paced. Uh, I thought it would be a bit boring just to watch her save all these people, but that really wasn't the case. Um, there were some uh, twists and turns. I really liked. The ending was amazing. And yeah, the characters were really good, really flushed out, and yeah, I just really loved it. So highly recommend, and yeah, I gave it just five stars. Then uh, the second book um, I finished on the 17th of January. Um, yeah, you can... I have this uh, most of the time that I don't really finish books um, early on in the month. Because, yeah... Most of the time I just get lost and I'm like, oh, so many books. Uh, but uh, yeah, so that will be a theme in uh, my wrap-ups. But on the 17th of January, I finished um, this book, a Lightning by Daniel Steele. This was also a TBR jar big. And I read this for the A year a thon readathon that was that week. And uh, for the color black. And uh, yeah, this book is about... A woman and um, I'm not sure if it's on I think it is here um, yeah 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 it's on the cover so I just want to check out that I'm not spoiling the book but um, so this book is about a woman and um, she has a husband and a little kid and they're really happy and uh, she is a lawyer um, no yeah a lawyer and she um, yeah, is really busy with work and then one day um, she goes to the doctor and the doctor says yeah you need to have uh, a medical checkup just to check uh, if everything is right she's like yeah but I'm really busy but she caves in and just do does it. And then she hears she has a cancer, a breast cancer. And from then on, um, everything goes wrong, basically. Her husband uh, lost his mother to breast cancer. And he was really traumatized by that. And he just distanced his, himself from his wife. And... Um, yeah, it was just really hard to read, but also really good to read, I think, because I haven't really read a lot of books about this topic. And I think it's really important to read uh, stories about things you don't uh, experience yourself. So this was um, a book that really, uh, yeah, made me see those things. Um, yeah, my... Disappointment in the book was, uh, yeah, there was a little bit, yeah, a lot, not a little bit, sort of a lot, for me, a lot of um, sex and, yeah, sex references and stuff, and I really don't like that in my books. Uh, also, th I think it was really too long, I mean, it's like almost 500 pages, and I just don't think this book needed to be that long, um... But overall, I really liked it and I gave it 3.5 stars. Then, another arc I um, read and finished on the 19th of January was On the Owl of Sound and Wonder by Alison um, Grauer. Uh, this book is about uh, a couple of different characters. Um, um, the first character is a girl who lives on an island um, and this island is a very strange um, and her father is like a very um, good uh, magician and he can manipulate uh, the weather and nature and stuff so he uh, manipulates the sea to um, sh uh, wreck ships basically and one of these uh, ships, well, it's more of an airplane kind of ship, um, uh, goes down. And his, uh, the father decides to show his daughter what people are like. Because he thinks 
people are yeah, just bad and he wants to show his daughter that they are because his daughter is talking a lot about yeah leaving and stuff so a couple of the shipwreck people are um yeah just get on the beach and um yeah the island um uh, and they have to manage on the island um one of the uh, creatures on the island is a creature uh, that is yeah, banned by the father of the girl and we don't really know what happened. Um, but this creature uh, is manipulated also by the father and he tries to um, help uh, two shipwrecked uh, people. Uh, another creature on the island is like... yeah. Yeah, an imp, I think, um, who is um, invisible, is and he is also manipulated by the father of the girl, um, and he tries to scare the shipwreck people, and the girl on the island finds uh, the prince that gets, uh, yeah, shipwrecked, and uh, yeah, she, they try, they are talking and stuff. And the main goal um, of everyone is to, yeah, um, difficult, um, they try to, uh, yeah, just the father, uh, to get down the father, basically. And uh, apparently this is a retelling of, I think, The Tempest by William Shakespeare. So if, you're, uh, if you like uh, retellings, you can read this. I didn't know that story, so I can't really say anything about that. But um, the story was pretty good, I think. Um, and yeah, I just gave it four stars. It was pretty enjoyable. Uh, then a book I read uh, that an author gave to me. There is a Goodreads reviewers group on uh, Goodreads. And um, authors just ask people to read their book and I really like to support authors so this author um, yeah, asked me to read their book and that is Oh What a Night by Nicole Williams this is a short story and um, yeah this is about a girl um, and she her boyfriend broke up with her and she uh, goes a night out with her friends and they encounter uh, one of the most famous um, singers or something and that singer really um, likes her and she gets on stage with him and uh, they have like sort of chemistry and yeah that is what the story is about um yeah from that synopsis you probably can guess uh, that i didn't really like this book. I actually gave it one star because it was just really not good. I'm really unhappy about this because yeah, I just wanted to yeah support the author, but yeah, I just didn't really like it. Um, the writing was really bad. Um, I think it wasn't edited and yeah, just it felt like a teenager wrote it. Um, and I'm I'm sorry, but that was just the case. The story itself wasn't interesting. Um, it just fe fell flat to me for me. Uh, the characters were just awful, and yeah, I just didn't really like it. So yeah, that was a huge disappointment um, for me. Then the uh, book club pick was uh, for my Dutch book club was Crusade in Jeans by Thea Beckman. Um, this is a historical fiction book about. A guy named Dolph. He's right here in the picture. This is the movie cover. Uh, and Dolph um, basically gets in a time machine and gets sent to the Middle Ages. Um, and he tries to get back but he is too late and um, therefore he is stuck in the Middle Ages. And in this particular time in the Middle Ages there are a lot of crusades. And one of these crusades is a children crusade. And he joins this children's crusade, crusade and um, tries to help them and stuff. And yeah, I really liked that bo this book. I listened to it in audiobook. Um, the narrator was pretty good. 
I uh, listen to it in uh, Dutch. And yeah, I just r really enjoyed reading this. Um, I really liked to know a lot more about this era and how people uh, thought. And I think this book really uh, put out put that uh, out well. And I also really enjoyed just reading about a children's crusade because I didn't really know that happened uh, in that time and age. And yeah. I just really enjoyed this book, so I gave it uh, four stars. Uh, then the next book I read is Gregor and the Curse of the Warm Bloods. I finished this one on the 28th of January. The other two I finished on the 24th of January. Um, this book is the third book in the Underland Chronicles by Suzanne Collins. And um, I can't say much, of course, about this one, but the first book is about uh, Gregor and he, uh, together with his little sister, who is like one or two years old, um, falls into a hole in their laundry room. And they, a um, bit like Alice in Wonderland, and they um, <clears throat> fall down and came, uh, come into the Underland, and uh, this Underland is really creepy and there are um, a lot of yeah a lot of um, animals are very big so for example rats are very big uh, bats uh, spiders um, cockroaches stuff like that and um, yeah he just goes in the underland and tries to go home but there are a lot of prophecies and he needs to fulfill this these prophecies and help the people of the underland um this particular book had also again a prophecy which yeah is getting a little bit old but yeah i i think i understand why the author um chose to do it that way but okay so yeah this book i gave uh, four stars just because i yeah i don't really like the prophecy uh, aspect of it and then going on to the 29th of January, I finished, uh, now nah, I just read this whole book, uh, called Double Down by Jeff Kinney. This is the 11th book in the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series. This series is about uh, Greg Hefley, another Greg. Um, and this is a middle grade book with a lot of like uh, drawings and... It's the journal uh, from Greg and just, um, yeah, how it's go going on in school and stuff. Um, yeah, this series is getting a little bit old, I think. Yeah, it's the 11th book, so yeah, there aren't really new things they uh, the writer can bring up, I think. So therefore, I gave this book three stars. And I read this book for the Devourer TBR group. Then also on the 29th of January, I finished uh, also an arc, and that is I Came From the Water by uh, Vanita Ulschlager. Um, I read this book for the my keyword reading challenge because I didn't get around to other books and this book had the word water in the title, so it fit the challenge, so that was great. This is another picture book and it's really short. Um, I didn't really like the writing, so therefore I gave it three stars. Um, don't have anything more to say about that one. Then another children's book I read was Dictionary for a Better World. Poems, Quotes and Anecdotes from A to Z by Irene Latham and Charles Waters. And this is also Nat Gally Ark. Uh, yeah, this book, uh, it's just there what it says and uh, also experienced by the authors themselves. And I really enjoyed this book. I gave it four stars because of that, but I uh, really don't think this is a children's book. I think it was really tough to read. I, I personally, yeah, English is my second language, but still I personally couldn't understand some poems and even some words that were used so i don't think this is really fit for children maybe maybe teenagers but i don't think for children so that was a little bit of a letdown and then uh, the last book i 
red and finished in the month of January. I can't find it, um, but I just I'm just gonna talk about it then. Um, is Under the Darkening Skies by Ray Kingfisher. Uh, this was also in Netgalley Arc, I mentioned it in my TBR. Uh, this is a historical fiction about um, a woman, uh, uh, no, about <laughs> a man and uh, his mother is um, dying and on her di yeah, deathbed she says something and he's like, what's all that about? And also you see his mother and her struggling in uh, World War II and what happened with her in World War II. I think it was a great representation of what happened in World War II, not only um, from the Nor Norwegian perspective, but also from the German perspective. And um, yeah, I just really enjoyed uh, that part, uh, but I didn't really enjoy some choices the author made in the book. Um, there were some chapters that were really weird and I didn't really get it. Um, so that was a bit of a letdown, so therefore I gave it 3.5 stars. Uh, that were all the books I read in January. Them for um, the books I mentioned in my TBR but didn't get around to. Um, Three of those I started but I didn't finish and I'm not going to finish them in February because as you saw in my TBR, I'm very busy in February. Uh, those books are The Canterbury Tales, which was a TBR draw pick, Dance with Dragons and Wayward. Uh, those are going to be read in March. Then uh, three books I did get um, on my TBR but didn't get around to were... Uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, uh, Freshwater, and This Year It Will Be Different. That last one um, apparently is a Christmas book, so I was like, I'm not going to read this right now, so that will be read in December. And I'm still currently reading Cersei by Madeline Miller. Miller. This was my buddy read, and um, yeah, I'm just, I hope I can finish it in uh, these couple of days. So, these were all the books I've read in January. I hope, uh, yeah, you had a very nice January. I didn't really have a nice January um, because, yeah, I don't know. January is always a tough month for me. So I hope February will be uh, better. Also in terms of reading because I didn't really feel that I enjoyed a lot of the books, etc. So, yeah, in February I hope it will get better. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up comment and subscribe and I will see you later.